Build Wealth Wednesdays are back. So, do you know the number one reason why financial empowerment is so important, it's so vital? I don't know if you read, but yesterday, over four million women were denied compensation um, or in a court of appeal after um, the campaigners took their case to the courts in the UK after the government arbitrarily decided that they are not worthy or don't qualify for pension. They increased the age of uh, women getting pensions to 66 from 60 like that. These are women born in the 50s, which there are over 4 million in the UK, have just all of a sudden been denied a basic standard of living. Women who were possibly worked all their life, paid taxes all their life, contributed to the national insurance scheme and pensions and so on all their life and all of a sudden, now for six years, they have to find a way to meet their basic needs. Hundreds of thousands of women since this all came out have um, passed away broke as a result. Not to mention a number of women who struggled, who are still struggling as a result. Six years is a long time. You could say, well, they can continue working. Well, maybe, maybe not. Um, some you know, have worked and, and geared themselves up to retirement at 60. Some have no option but to retire at 60. Some companies, are, that's the way it is. You've got to retire when you're 60. You know, there's 101 reasons why they may not be able to continue working. This is why it is so important to be financially empowered. This is why I am on a mission so that we as, a, as humanity are not subjugated to outside influences and not made vulnerable to outside influences um, to live the life that we were born to live. So here's the thing, we are born pure potentiality. There is nothing we cannot do the moment we are born. We can achieve, be, do anything that we wish. And when we're born, think about it this way, we survive, okay? We make sure that we're looked after, that our basic needs have been met, okay? We have to make sure of that. Okay, some might have been more comfortable, more loving than others, but at the end of the day, if you're listening to me here now, you're, you're grown up, you're, you know, you're pretty much self-reliant. So um, we were born and we were able to, to convince our parents, our guardians, or somebody to look after us to help us stay alive, right? There is nothing that we cannot do. We are pure potentiality. But there's three things that happen. And there's three things that we control. We can control our perceptions. We can control our choices. And we can control our actions. They're the three things that we can control, okay? So, before I go any further, maybe it's a good idea I introduce myself. My name is Judy V. I work with entrepreneurially minded people to become financially empowered so that they can have the freedom that wealth brings. Because at the end of the day, that's what we, that's what we deserve. Okay, that's what we deserve. We deserve to have the freedom that wealth brings. And I'm deeply passionate about that. So that's why stories that like this that came out yesterday, they really hit my heart very deeply because it goes against everything that I'm, I work for, everything I, I believe in, everything that I strive for, um, because it hits the core of who we are, okay? When we are not financially empowered, how can we live life to the fullest extent of our potential? We can't, okay? So, get back to what I was saying, the three things that we can control, our perceptions, our choices, and our actions, okay? So our perceptions is what's going to give us what our choices are. Our choices are going to result in our actions, which gives us our results, okay? But here's the thing, we can control our perceptions, okay? We can choose how we perceive the experiences that we've had. We can choose to perceive the uh, 
how we perceive the situation we are in right now. These are things that we can have control over, okay? Your natural response might be you want to be angry, you want to get back, you want to hit back, you want to, you want to take offense to something that might have happened. That might be your natural reaction. And the reason why that would be a reaction is it's a judgment that you have formed on the situation similar to that in, in a previous experience or in the past, okay? So whenever we react, sort of what we would maybe call negatively uh, to situation, it's an unresolved experience of something you've experienced in the past, okay? But we can actually say when we sort of respond to a situation angrily or, or emotionally, that is going to be limiting the range of choices that we have in that moment. So limiting the range of choices that we have to take that will lead to our actions, that will give us our results. If you're not financially empowered, take a step back and ask yourself, why not? What is going on? Because we all have it within us to be financially empowered. I always say this one thing, we were born pure potentiality. We were born with the ability to be, do and have exactly what we were born to be, do and have. We were born with a purpose. We were born with, um, with, with an agenda, so to speak, okay? We were born to live life to the fullest extent of our potential. That we start getting insight to as children, as kids growing up. You know, when you daydream, when you, when you get lost in something as a child, can you go back to that time as a child? What did you spend hours getting lost in? What did you daydream about? There's insights into what it is your purpose is or what it is that you find most fulfilling in life. What is that? What does your heart yearn for? Okay, whatever it is, if you're not living it, why not? Because I've got a question. If we have, if we have a, a yearning, a burning desire, a, a purpose, something that we would love to be, do and have, and that's in our mind, that's what we carry with us in our heart and soul for years and years and years, then why would you also not have the ability to create the financial independence, financial freedom, the financial stability, the financial empowerment to support that? Because for whatever you have a dream for, you have within you exactly the physical manifestation of that dream, which is the financial or the wealth requirements to support it. Does that make sense? It's an important concept. It's a very important concept. What on God's earth makes you think that you wouldn't? If you have a dream for something, if you have a desire for something, that's a heart desire, something that's 100% congruent with your values, your purpose, with all of who you are, then my gosh, you have everything in you to create what it is you need to support that. And if that's the, what I call the physical manifestation of spirit, i.e. money, if that's what you need, you have it to, you have it within you to get it, to access it. Because here's the thing, every time we deny ourselves something that our heart desires, we kill a part of ourselves. Because when we can't, when we deny ourselves something that's in our heart, that our heart truly desires, what are we telling ourselves? Because when we deny ourselves because we can't afford it, or we haven't got what we perceive we need to achieve it or do it, what are we telling ourselves? And this is why so many people struggle with self-worth. And this is why I say that the extent to which you have self-worth is the extent to which you will have net worth. 100%. The more we deny ourselves what our heart desires, and I'm not talking about, gosh, get, understand this, I am not talking about having money so we can go out and buy frivolous junk, okay? I'm not talking about having money just for having money's sake. I'm talking about wealth building. As, um, what, um, who is it? Henry Thoreau said once um, that w his definition of the word word wealth was uh, or is um, fulfillment, living a life fulfilled. 
And it is, it absolutely is. It's like the old English, um, which I think actually originates from the Welsh word. Um, well, wealth means well-being, okay? So we misunderstand what wealth is all about. We think it's for the lucky few, they have gotta go to work hard for it. You, um, it's, we're lucky if we get some, we're lucky if we have savings and so on. No, it's our right. We deserve it. And the moment you step into owning that and owning that you deserve the wealth to fulfill your heart's desires and you start marrying those energies, magic happens. Pure magic happens. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be really honest with you. There's been a few years now where my heart yearned and I didn't listen to it. I subjugated myself to an ideal okay I was like I'm quite aware I'm quite I like to think I'm quite enlightened <laughs> I, I have I'm an expert on human behavior and human potential having spent over 20 years studying it and yet still for a number of years until a few months ago I um, denied my heart and soul my yearning and that was to live by the sea i lived in arguably possibly the best location in london uh, for many years um, on the river next to tower bridge beautiful absolutely beautiful place but my heart still yearned i was subjugating myself to the ideal that because i had a business called tribe of traders i needed to be in the city any city happened to be London and I couldn't get my head around moving it because my heart doesn't want to be in a city my heart doesn't want to be in the the one of possibly the most advanced city in the world it doesn't want to be there it doesn't want to have all the luxuries of Ocado and and the supermarkets and the shops and the the exquisite restaurants that's not where my heart yearns and when I got to it when I said well right and the lockdown really helped me with this it helped me get really really clear on what it is that i truly desire and then when i got down to it i realized that this is heaven on earth for me and this is puglia in the south of uh, in the heel or in the heel yeah in the heel of italy puglia almost 360 days sunshine a year right next to the sea this is where my heart desires. This is where I feel wealthy. This is where I am wealthy. This is where I am inspired. This is where I feel, no, the sky's not the limit. Flip, no, the sky's not. Beyond the sky is the limit. This is where it is. There's no Ocado. There's no, you know, it, it's just completely different. Oh my gosh, the internet. Oh, it's just completely different. Okay, it is not modern, it is not ultra modern, it is just completely different, but yet this is where my heart sings. And I want that for you. The more the world needs financially empowered people now more than ever. Because when you're financially empowered, it's not just about the the money. And I've always saying this, it's not just about the money, it's not just about having the resources to fulfill your purpose. It's about the inner journey we take to get there. It's the transformation that we take to that get there. And then the, the, when in that journey, in doing that, we pass the torch. We show and exemplify what is possible for humanity, for others. And we bring a wave of people with us to fulfillment, to enrichment to joy, love, happiness, compassion, empathy. And now more than ever, we need that in this world. We, it's our responsibility. We, we are experiencing something so transformational that generations to come will feel. And what are we going to, what legacy are we gonna leave those, gen, that, those future generations? My desire is that we leave them with waking up to the reality of what life is really about 
and that's living life to the fullest extent of your potential, not subjugating yourself to outside agendas and leaving yourself vulnerable to forces outside of yourself. That's when we create real change for ourselves, our family, our communities and the world. Okay, with that guys, I'm going to leave you and love you. Take care. I'll catch you soon. Bye.